a lot of um, sensations from the day. I can still remember the, the room and the yeah the what the room was like and the sound and the uh, the space that we were in for that day. Um, and I think that was just part of uh, you know a level of awareness or presence that yeah we I, I certainly miss quite often and to actually yeah be in that space and in in the zone you might say uh, for the whole day uh, was was valuable and that carried on for me for quite some time afterwards um, and it helped me really register in terms of what presence actually meant and actually being grounded and aware and present in whatever I was doing uh, at, yeah, uh, following on after the event um, it really helped me understand and bring to life a lot of what, what I'd read in the book and I think that was the transition that I made so yeah, I understood the theory that uh, was was in, in the book but actually bringing it to life through the conversations on the day they resonated those conversations resonated and still do today you know a year what are we now a year and a half later um, really bringing being into life for me uh, I lived prior yeah prior to the event and to some extent now I try and do it less but certainly prior to the event I'd live off lists and to-do lists and lists of what I needed to be doing and yeah, stuff to get done and doing and doing and actually changing that whole uh, concept and that whole mindset to one of being um, who do I need to be uh, rather than what do I need to do if I was to try and sum up the whole experience in one strap line that it, it, it's in there somewhere you know that shift from doing to being and the impact that that's had uh, for me and those around me for the last year and a half has been been huge I just want like a couple of things you said there firstly like the presence level of presence and how that stayed with you and um I know I know how huge that is when um when you're going through life and you're really with whoever or whatever you are doing um really taking notice and listening um as a and you mentioned the to-do list as well rather than carrying the to-do list around in our head and, and like being being kind of so busy that we we miss half of what is being tried to that that is being conveyed or that we can get from the situation and, and um it feels to me that there's no end to that there's no end to how present you can be so so I know you mentioned it as the first off and it was really brief but that to me seems huge <laughs> absolutely absolutely is and, you, and you're right it, it's it's uncapped isn't it and we on the day at the event uh, we talked about um you you, you um Karen Ray I think described it as you, you you it's impossible to outdo who you are being. So regardless of what it, what's on that to-do list, regardless of what there is that you want to achieve or what you get done, this that starts with who you're being. Because if you're being this big, you're never ever going to, or if, if, if you're being this, um, yeah, if your field of view is constrained in any way, if you've set your ceiling with your being, it doesn't matter what you do, you're never going to get past that. And that's where who you're being is 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 at the start and then the doing will will come um, and i didn't believe that <laughs> yeah so it that, that took some doing. i thought well that doesn't mean yeah i i've engineered myself so hugely around a world of doing that it didn't make it, if there wasn't a plan to do stuff then surely how how would that happen but if you are being that yeah that in that state it it, it, it happens so I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here because um, this isn't necessarily about the event and um, not what I suggested I'd be asking. But are you able to think of an example where your being is different and as a result, um, how you turn up or what you do is, is, is just different to what it was before? Yes. Yes, um, and without exaggerating, Victoria, only have put me on the spot, but um, that's no 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 problems at all. Um, I've noticed most uh, 
most significantly when things aren't going well. Yeah, so it, it's fine to be, yeah, the, the the concept of being when things are, are all good and the concept of presence when things are all, all fine is good, but it's not really tested. It's when things are, are going south and you're up against it. That's where I've seen the real difference. And when previously something had gone severely wrong, I suspect, and I do know if I'm being honest with myself, looking back, there's occasions over the last year or so where previously I would have just written, written it off, whatever, whatever I was, the experience I was doing or the challenge I was facing hadn't gone according to plan and I'd have just effectively quit yeah, and just said, well, look, this isn't working. It's not worth it. It's not worth the trouble and gone on and moved on to something else. Uh, what I've seen now in terms of, I wouldn't describe it as resilience, but the if you're if you've got being at the core of who you are and what you're you're set about, it doesn't matter what's going well, and it doesn't matter what's going badly. You're not immune by any stretch. None of us are immune, but yeah, you, 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 it, yeah, it's stuff going well, stuff going badly, stuff happening on time, stuff happening late. None of that affects your. Your, your being um, and that I found hugely valuable to deal with of course it's helpful when with the with the nice things and things that are going well but it's hugely powerful when when things are when things aren't going according to plan to stick yeah to stick unfolded from that purpose that mission or that that ceiling that you've set you, yourself it, it's almost like so the circumstances are not the primary focus anymore yeah. I'll, I I love that. That's yeah, really that's clear. And thank you. <laughs> there's probably lots of different ways of getting through, through through coaching, and there's probably a lot of different ways to reach that same mindset. But for me, the the mindset of being has been how I've come to that that point. So, is there anything else you'd like to share about what is different um, now, like um, a year plus on from the event? Um, yeah, I think uh, certainly relationships across the board. Per yeah, my personal relationships, relationships, my social relationships, family relationships, work relationships have all benefited uh, in, in some form in terms of I'm, I'm really careful and really conscious now to be present. So we're having a conversation like this. Everything else is, is turned off. Um, if I'm with my family or my daughter, I'm really con conscious to not have the phone with me if, if I'm listening to you or having a conversation with you Victoria that's what I'm doing that it, it's not one of two or three or four different modes of communication that are alive at any point in time and um, that I, I've seen benefit for myself from that and I've had direct comments and feedback for, from people that I'm with yes it's, it's seeing the same and it's so easy to do but it's so easy to not do as well. I think, and I don't, I don't know if you've noticed this, but certainly um, in my life and with my family, that has a knock-on effect on them too. I've, I've noticed that sometimes, like if I, like I'm just present and listening, like the problems of others don't escalate as yeah. much as they would if I, if I wasn't paying full attention. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, lovely. So are you going to the Birmingham event? And if you are, um, why, what, what are you expecting or hoping for from that day? Oh, gosh, well, a few things. Um, the uh, Something we haven't spoken about uh, on this call, Victoria, but the, 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 the documents, uh, as, yeah, our, our documents as part of, of being uh as a as an approach uh hugely important and that's probably for another another conversation but i'm looking to bring yeah almost my my document 2.0 to bring that to life and i know the second day um dave and fiona are, are running workshops for us to come with our documents and try and bring those to the next generation yeah and step those up a gear and if we haven't anyone in the audience that hasn't got one We'll, yeah, we'll be able to create one. Anyone that's got one will be able to review it and uh, either fine tune it or rewrite it depending on, on how they feel. Um, but I suppose a more holistic answer to your, your question, I, I benefited hugely from the ultimate experience in 
London. And I'm perhaps coming to the ultimate experience in Birmingham to do the same again, but um, more importantly, perhaps to, to try and serve and give back. And I've offered to help in any way I can with the actual events that, you know, whether that's taking coats or handing out badges or whatever that might be, but actually supporting the, the event organizing team. Cause I know how formidably challenging these events are to actually put on. So rather than just be a, a net beneficiary, I'm hoping to actually give, give something back this time around. Um, and again, being in the audience, just being in that audience, the bit, the event is planned to be bigger and better and bolder than London. I think that's going to take some doing, but I think the team behind it uh, may, may well pull that off, which will be amazing. And just to be in that, that room, again, listening to the, the speakers, taking part in the workshop, but most importantly for me is being in, being in that audience for a full two days next May with a large number of amazing people is very, very difficult to, uh, to not get excited about. Yeah, brilliant. I can feel it already. And I hope, I know it's going to be more of a challenge at the Birmingham event because it's bigger, um, but I hope we actually get to, to meet up over the weekend um, because uh, that, will, that will be lovely. And um, ju just to add, I, I've, I've not worked with Fiona on the document, but right at the very start, when I was creating my very first version, um, I did have some input from uh, from Dave, who was just um, phenomenal in his approach and, and clarity and really speaking into existence what like what what you mean and what you're trying to convey so yeah um it's a huge opportunity for people so thank you, thank you. Uh, do, you have any, do you have anything to add before we draw it to a close the uh, do you know what i think that it, just one comment in terms of i know it'd be a concern for a lot of people i suspect there'll be a lot of people listening to this victoria that are thinking about whether to come whether not to come whether they can afford the the, the ticket it's it's not a uh, it's not an insignificant cost to to attend the event. Uh, of course, the, the the charitable cause, the the Birmingham Children's Hospital, and the uh, the actual "Be Here Now" campaign is just an amazing yeah, cause to support as the the theme for the event. Uh, but the only thing I'd add as well is it, when you and this is something I've done. I don't. I'm, I'm looking at the ticket that I've paid for, not as two days in Birmingham in May next year, but actually. A year, so I'm, yeah, I've had it. I've already had a year and a half's benefit from the ticket that I bought for London in April last year. If there's, yeah, as soon as I shift my thinking from this isn't a two-day event, this is a, 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 yeah, a, a total shift and potentially a, a, a lifetime of contacts that I'll make, um, benefits that I'll gain, insights that I'll, I'll take from the day that will last me much longer than that that weekend, and that just helped me change how I was looking at the, the, the cost of the ticket. Um, and that's, hopefully that might help some people still sat on the fence. Yeah, and I, like, I think as you said, like it, it's a different orientation in life, isn't it? So, so rather than focusing on the circumstances, getting bogged, and, bogged down and reacting to those, um, it, it's, it's a completely different way of looking at life and being in life. So yeah, I love that you added that. Thank you very much, John. It's a pleasure to meet you, Victoria, and, and uh, I, re I'm, I really appreciate what everything you're doing and yeah, your 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 effort here to reach out, um, interview me, and it sounds like a number of others uh, to really yeah bring or keep the uh, event from London alive and build up for the uh, the event next uh, next May in Birmingham is is yeah. really fantastic. So yeah, thanks ever so much, and it's an absolute pleasure to meet you, and we will. Definitely, let's make it happen in, in Birmingham. We'll meet, we'll meet up and we'll get a we'll get a drink. That'd be yeah. awesome. Lovely. We'll meet up soon. Thank you. Thanks, Victoria. Take care. Thank you. Bye.